didn't go off this morning or it did but it was on silent so we didn't hear it we we're supposed to meet our guide at 5 30 to pick up tickets for machu picchu he ended up waking us up at 5 22. we're running behind schedule but we'll still get to see machu picchu this is the bus line to get up to machu picchu so people started lining up here at 4 30 in the morning oh no okay we have to wait for the next buses luckily the buses come every 10 minutes not even they're all lined up, they're all lined up. so we don't even really have to wait Man, there's so many people. Okay, so it was a little crazy at the beginning. There was so many people and different guides. We don't know where our guide is. We should screw it, and we walked in. <laughs> Look at this place. We found our guide. Okay, my friends, come in closer, please. Closer, closer to your guide. Hey, llama. <laughs> there are 100 llamas in Machu Picchu. They're all protected. This is the house of the sun. It's built on top of this huge rock, and they have offerings down here. Okay, so the tour wasn't really that great. Spent an hour with him, but I feel like I'd just explore on our own. And there's so many people here. This place is packed. And I guess this isn't even busy yet. This is low season. So we're just kind of wandering around right now on our own. Tour group is catching up with us. I'm trying to lose him They're too fast. We've been following the signs and it says exit. We're hoping it doesn't mean we have to leave Machu Picchu. Hopefully, we can just kind of go through again because everything is like a one way. Fingers crossed, we can still go through it again. inside one of the houses right now. They always have windows on the east side and on the west side for the sunrise and then the sunset. So this right here is the guardhouse. All these people are in line to get the, the kind of classic Machu Picchu picture that everyone has. We're gonna head up to Sun Gate. Since the sun's out, I need sunblock. Mark. Amanda. Mark doesn't like sunblock. He just likes to get burnt and shed. So there's only one way, <laughs> one direction through Machu Picchu. So we had to exit and come back in to take the pictures we want. Okay, so we went up this time instead of down through and the view up here is amazing. But this is where we were just kind of meandering through all of this maze, it's so huge. What are your thoughts? Beautiful. This does look just like the postcards. And the sun is coming out. Oh, it turned out to be a beautiful day. We either go to Machu Picchu Mountain or Sun Gate. I don't think we have time to do both. It's 8.40, so we're gonna go to Sun Gate. Oh God, we're already swe sweaty and tired. We just did one of those like the jumping, the typical jumping photo, and Amanda got yelled at. <laughs> Apparently, we heard other people talking. They said someone was doing one of those jumping photos over here, and they fell and died. Not worth it. We still got a ways to go. I think this is it. This big rock. Huh? Oh, there's still more? Oh, f Never mind. What is this? It looks like a stage. And I wonder if they did sacrifices here. Ooh. <laughs> it's about 15 minutes later. Okay, is this it? Oh, there's more. Look, guys. It continues on. We were way off. We have to go all the way over there. You see those people? Probably not, but that's the path. <sighs> oh my god. It just keeps going. Around and around. But there's there's a city. We're 
we're heading back down. Wait, did you even record from up there? Yeah. We did a little bit, right? A little bit. Yeah. So we're, we're heading back down from Sungate, and actually while we were up there, we ran into these two guys from Cali. One of them has been traveling for two years. He like drove a motorcycle from, or maybe a Land Rover, from like Singapore to Denmark, and right now he's been driving from California, and he's here in Peru, and he's going all the way down to the bottom part of Argentina to Ushuaia. I love meeting people like that, you know, to have all these great stories and motivate me and inspire me to go do crazy, fun things like this. So now it's 10, 12. We have to be back to Hydro Electrico where they dropped us off by 2.30. That's gonna take us about three hours. So we need to start heading out of here. We've got probably a three or four hour walk ahead of us and then a seven hour bus ride. Shit. Thank you Machu Picchu. It was worth it though. See you Machu Picchu. Okay, so we're kind of lost again. We went out the exit, and that's where all the buses are, and we just followed the bus path. It's really windy at S's, and if we walk that way, it'll just take too long, and there's an actual path that cuts kind of straight through, straight down. We missed that straight down path. So we have to take this bus path a little ways, and then there should be a path through the woods on our right. Otherwise, this is gonna take us way longer, and we won't make it back in time. We found the path. We had to walk off the bus road, through the woods. This is cake now, lots of steps. I'm glad I don't have bombs like that in the front. That looks, that looks like hard probably. We made it down one million steps. I think that right there. Fell off. <laughs> I hope not. Much quicker, take the path. We're back at the railroad tracks almost. Mm -hmm. Quick stop, put some food in our bellies. Amanda's got poop on her butt. Okay, time for a little feast. So I'm gonna put a little mayonnaise, mayonnaise on the empanada. Probably 90% of the stuff served here comes with, they serve it with a side of mayonnaise. Oh, back to the railroad track. I never thought I'd be so happy to be back to these things. I'm not. I won't be happy until we're in the car and I have my shoes off. Oh, you can take them off in the car? I have sandals. Your feet are gonna stank. No, they're not. We've got two and a half hours to get back to Hydroelectrico. We'll see you guys in a couple hours. Oh shit, it's video. Alright.